we have less than two weeks. What I'm talking about is one of the biggest opportunities to make a great income on your website that comes around every single year. The Black Friday frenzy. Black Friday, one of the largest shopping days of the year. Black Friday is an American tradition. Friends Day, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, they are all this month. At Target, it's an entire month this year. Walmart is also getting a jump start with the deal starting. Everybody's running sales, but it's a huge opportunity, even for us who are bloggers and content creators, to make a great income. But we need to put our best foot forward when it comes to our product, and that's what we're talking about today. Today, we're actually looking at one of your websites. This is bluebirdlandlord.com. This is a website that basically talks about bluebirds and how to be able to get bluebirds into your backyard. Cool concept. Well, the creator of this website has also created a nice guide, an audio guide, that's about 60 minutes long, that teaches you exactly how to attract bluebirds and how to keep away the other birds and the other pests that you don't want. Seems really cool. Now here's the thing. The sales page, where we're actually driving people to finally make that purchase, isn't optimal. And today we're gonna dive through exactly what changes to make, and I'm gonna show you exactly what it's gonna look like when I'm done with it. So let's start by looking at what it looks like right now. At the top of the page, we have this kind of question, sort of as a title. Do you wanna attract bluebirds to your yard this year? Then we have a video. So this is the introduction to the audio guide not a sales video. I think it's great to include this on the sales page, but I wouldn't put it at the very top. To me, I expect this video to be your sales pitch. Basically, you condensing everything that I should know about why I should buy this product right there in one to maybe two minutes. But instead, what I got here is just sort of a, a taste of what the audio guide is like. Nothing wrong with that, but let's include this somewhere else on this page. I'll show you where and let's work on a great sales video. Now, I'm not gonna be able to create the sales video for this product, and so I'm actually gonna leave this video here as a placeholder, but I'll also show you where I'm gonna put it on the page for the future and encourage you to go make your sales video. We can talk about sales videos probably another time, probably too many things for one video. As I start to look at the other content right here, right below the video, there is a buy button early on, I always encourage people to have a buy button near the top, especially if there's a sales video, because some people are gonna be sold right away. But to include one after other sections throughout the sales page, because at the point where someone makes the decision, I think I'd like to purchase this, I want the button to be very close to where they are. And so I appreciate that you have it right here. Then we start to look at the content here. We've got kind of a course promise sort of here, which is a really important part of both creating an information product as well as a big part of selling it. What is it that's going to change for the customer if they get your product? We want that to be very prominent. Here, it's kind of there and it's a little bit wishy-washy. You could have bluebirds nesting in your backyard in the next 12 months, you just need to know how. Okay, but am I going to? You could make this course promise a much stronger promise. You're gonna have bluebirds in your backyard in the next 12 months because I'm going to show you how. And you know what? If somebody fails because they either didn't follow through or maybe they live somewhere that doesn't have bluebirds, that's okay because guess what? Further down, we have a guarantee here, a satisfaction guarantee where you offer refunds. So go ahead and make a stronger promise. If it doesn't work for them, that's fine. They're gonna get their money back. But a stronger promise and visibly making it more prominent. Then what do we have here? We have a little bit of info about Grant, the creator of this product. But again, visibly, it looks exactly like the rest of the text there. So unless I'm reading through this like a blog post, which isn't what we tend to do on a sales page, I'm probably not gonna get all the details here. Either I'm like, yeah, I'm excited. Grant's awesome. Looks like he's got a lot of experience. Or I'm reading that and I'm like, well, that's, that's not really what I care about. I'm curious about the product. Tell me more. So what we wanna do is visibly divide things up and make things that are different look different. We'll see what that looks like here in a few minutes when I get to that part. Okay, back now we're here to why attracting bluebirds is awesome and why it's a rewarding hobby. That's cool. And I want you to have success with that too. I think that's a good personal touch. I think visibly we just need to work on how we present all of this information. It's a cool picture. I think that's awesome. We got the purchase here. The big question, okay, cool. But again, visibly it just looks like more text. I just want this to look a little bit different. Here's what you'll get. This is one of the biggest mistakes 
that I see content creators make when they're trying to sell something. You're gonna get a 60 minute audio recording. Sure, we need to tell people what comes in the product, but this here, like the call out boxes you've got, this should be focusing more on how their life is gonna change. What are the big promises that you're making? One, you're gonna have bluebirds come into your backyard. Two, you're gonna have more peace and joy in your life as you see these bluebirds just outside of your window. You know, what are the things that are gonna be fantastic for that person as a result of following through on what you're giving them. I do want to include a lot of the what's included stuff, this stuff. We're gonna include this as well, but I think we're gonna do it in a little bit different format. We're also gonna make this look a little bit prettier. The table of contents, I think it's great to include. This is taking up a lot of space, so I would probably remove the double spacing and maybe we can make this look a little bit a little more concise and just be something that is there for those who are interested in seeing the way it's broken up and the specifics of what you're including here information wise that doesn't make it take up so much space if i get bored scrolling especially on a phone then i'm, I'm gone right before i got to to more here i think the, about the author i think that's good stuff i think it's great to be able to talk a little bit in more detail about your experience and why they should trust you so we'll keep this here, but again, we might play a little bit around with how it looks visibly. Okay, here, look at this. Save time, save money, satisfaction guarantee. The save time and save money, I think, are two of the things that we can feature early on, like we talked about before. Visibly, we can make them look really cool, but we wanna highlight why is this product gonna be the one that's gonna make their life better. Get the results you want, do it in less time and do it for less money than you're gonna spend trying to do it either on your own or following some other system. I think that's good stuff. But again, right now it's just kind of normal text and so none of it stands out. This satisfaction guarantee, once again, I think the copy that you've written here is all good. Let's just make it look a little bit cooler. Now you've got the how do I download it. This is like, these are the things you're gonna have to do after you buy it. I think it's also really valuable for people when you include on the sales page some sort of a, here's what it looks like after you make the purchase. When you complete the purchase, what's going to happen and what are you going to get? This is great. I often like to do that in the form of another little video, but having it written out like this also works fantastically. Maybe you could even do both side by side, make a little video showing, downloading it, opening it up, and boom, it's there right on your phone. And then to the right of it, maybe just having the steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you could leave it just like this, but again, we're going to divide up these sections and make it look better. I also love your personal note here at the bottom. So here's a little letter from Grant, right? I think that looks great. I think once again, we can make that look a little bit cooler. I know we're just using the Aquabata WordPress theme here. Uh, and we're also just using the Gutenberg page builder, and that's fine, I think we can do just a little bit more with it. Okay, so th there's kind of my high level overview of the things that I think are holding this page back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start making some changes. And we're back, I've spent some time updating the sales page with some of those recommendations that I made. Now a couple of things. First, I decided to only stick with the theme and plugins that were already on the website. So what I had to work with here was uh, the Gutenberg page builder, basically the built-in WordPress page building capabilities, along with a plugin called Wonderblocks. Wonderblocks does give me some templates, some patterns I can use, you know, here if I wanted to have an FAQ, you know, I could pick one of these here and I could see uh, here's FAQs, some different templates that are built in, and I can always take one of those and customize it further. And a lot of the design work that I did on this page literally came from the templates in Wonderblocks. There's no reason to completely reinvent the wheel and try to make things work together. Uh, sometimes things that seem fairly complex to build, they've already done for you. So what I've done here was without anything special, without any other plugins, just what was already on the site. Now you can see right here at the top what I did. I took um, the image here, put it in the background, and made a little bit of the course promise here at the very top. Do you wanna attract bluebirds to your yard this year? I'll share with you everything. I mean, this is the exact text that was already there. I just put it here in a more interesting looking way. It's more visually interesting. Now, I do still have the same video here at the top. It's an example video, so I labeled it as that. See an example video from the guide and put a couple little arrows there. In the future, what I would do is I would absolutely make a sales video for this product and I would put that right here. Then I would move this video further down to the section where we talk about what is what they're gonna get, what's actually in this product, and give them the example video there. But for now, since we don't have a sales video, I left it here at the top. So that is the first of actually three things that I would still do to this sales page 
even after the work I've already done. Now you can see I have kind of another version of the course promise. Again, this is the same words that were already here, although I made it a little stronger. Before it said, you could have, no. You'll have bluebirds nesting in your backyard within 12 months. You just need to know the right way to attract them, and I can show you. Very simple, very upfront, and if it doesn't work, they get their money back anyway. I left this little bit of information about Grant here uh, because we have a little bit more about him later on in, in this page, but I wanted to leave this little piece here. I felt like it actually did give a little bit more credibility to him. But then the next thing that I did is I took, like I said, I took the kind of how their life's gonna change, what are the benefits that they actually get from buying this product, and I moved that up here. This used to be much further down, and then I made it more visibly interesting. So now, uh, as you see it, it just it pops out, stands out a little bit more. You'll notice, again, this is all the same stuff that was there before, just put in a little bit more interesting way. I play a little bit with font sizes to make certain things stand out, um, that sort of a stuff. And then the, here's what you'll get. It used to be in those just little kind of blue boxes. I went ahead and I, I made put this little headphones icon here. Here's what you're gonna get the 60 minute audio guide, and then they can listen to it wherever they wanna to listen to it. And then all of the things that are in the audio guide that were listed out as blocks, I just made it a numbered list here, and again, made it a little bit more visually interesting. It's right after this little spot here, probably right next is where I would put that sample video in the future. And then we have the table of contents, which I put into two columns so it wouldn't take up so much space. Then I have the about the author, and I have the how-to steps and the personal note. Now there's two more things I said I would change going forward. The first one is I would add an FAQ section. Most sales pages are gonna have this because a lot of times you're going to get people who email you with questions about the product that you're selling, and you're gonna to start to see those questions repeated over and over again. I would make note of every one of those questions that comes in, and probably at first I'd list all of them, but especially those that get asked at least twice, I would list them on this page and answer them, okay? And I would probably put that, oh, I don't know, maybe right below all of this kind of what's in uh, the audio guide, maybe right after that, I would put that here. Um, but I could see it, I could see a case for it going a few different places. The last thing that I would change is I would add a section for testimonials. Wonderblocks also has a nice layout, or actually several uh, options for testimonials that look really nice where you can have a little picture and then the testimonial and have their name. This is gonna require you to make some sales and then follow up with some of those people. And so that, that could be a little bit tricky, but I encourage you to find a way to get someone who's had success with your product to give you a little bit of a testimonial, even if it's just a few sentences saying, I tried it, it works. That kind of social proof is gonna do a lot for you. And I would put that higher up, even before this here's what you'll get. I would put it probably shortly after, uh, maybe right in here, right after the here's how your life's gonna change, and then look, here's a bunch of people who give a little bit of proof that that's the case. Now when it comes to making a great sales page, sometimes I have a hard time coming up with great design. I'm not a great designer, um, and I did that one all by myself, but honestly, like most of our work looks a little bit better when I run it by someone who has a great eye for design. So a couple great things you could do as you're trying to make your ideal sales page is one, use the templates. As whatever your theme is, whatever, uh, page builder you may have, if you have one, it's probably gonna have some built-in templates, so use those uh, as much as you possibly can, as a great starting point at least. The second thing I would do is I'd say, look at some other really good sales pages for inspiration. I wanna show you one real quick. This one here is one that I was shown just the other day and I thought, this looks really great, they did a great job. Now we all have to work within the constraints of, again, whatever plugins and things that we can afford. There are some that are gonna have really, really, really good capabilities, especially with fonts and things, and others that are gonna be a little bit more basic, which is what we just worked with. But this one, look at this. It looks really nice, got a great sales video right here from the start. This tells you the kind of what you're gonna get. And then look at their sales button. It's not just a button, it's kind of a button surrounded by a box and it pops, it stands out. And then a little bit, another kind of promise here. And then more of kind of the what you're gonna get. You get these eight exclusive videos. Uh, this is actually a little bit more of the how your life's gonna change, right? It's gonna make air frying a breeze, so it's gonna make it easier. You can cook at your own pace uh, because she's gonna take her time helping you. And then you get to see what's in it, the actual menu. And look how nice that looks. And then look at that. They've got their, their testimonials, their reviews, and then all the stuff that's in it. Now they went through and they did one of these like 
total up the value of all the different pieces, which is a bit of a marketing gimmick, but it works. So another thing that you may try if you're bundling a bunch of products together. And then of course, special pricing, boom, yep, give me the big button. They have their guarantee here and then FAQs. Uh, that's it, that's the whole sales page. But just look at how nice that looks. If you're having trouble with designing your sales page, I encourage you to go look at some others in your industry or in similar industries and find some elements that you like and try to find a way to kind of take those and then make them your own. Between those things and then getting some feedback from somebody else who looks over it and says, yeah, that looks really nice or okay or eek. <laughs> get some feedback from someone that's got a pretty good eye and I think you're going to be just fine creating a great sales page and I hope that you'll take the time if you have a sales page or need a sales page to go ahead and update it right now before we get to the kind of huge holiday season that's coming up where having a great sales page could make the difference between a bit of great income or a lot more great income. Your conversion rates are going to thank you as will your bank account. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in our next video.